Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do focus stacking in Photoshop. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer. Yesterday, I was in Malibu and I wanted to get this great sunset. I took a photo, you know, using focus stacking. I first focus on the flower and you can see the flower here are very sharp, but the background is all blurry. And then I did the reverse. I focused on the background, but the photos, uh, the flowers in the foreground are all blurry. And now to retouch this and to go really fast, I'm going to go to develop module and I'm giving you my natural everyday light pack. It's a complete free pack. The link is below the video. You can get it right away. To get your asset is click the link that's just below the video. And then you put in your email address. Then you put in first name, last name and create a password. And boom, you are in. You have the preset of the brushes. You just can click on view and then you can download the source files. Now, if you're already a member, you click on the same link, you put your email address and click sign up for free and it's gonna take you and just add it to your library. That's all you have to do. To install it is just go click here, uh, import, preset. You select all your preset and you click import. Boom, you're done. So I'm gonna take the first photo, the one that has flowers on and I'm gonna use the golden hour linear circle preset, which I'm giving you. It's gonna do 27 different things to the photo. And then all I'm gonna do on this one is uh, take my circle, which is here, all my preset have circles and uh, filters. On this one, I'm actually not even gonna use it. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna go to my gradients here. The first gradient, which is here, I am going to make it darker. I'm gonna make it a little more blue. Then I'm gonna take the gradient, which is at the bottom. And on this one, instead of basically making the, the flowers darker, I'm gonna make the flowers brighter. And I'm gonna rotate my gradient which is here by default so that we have even more focus on the flower. Okay, I like that. Then I'm gonna select my second photo and I'm gonna click on synchronize and I'm gonna check all and synchronize everything. Then I go right click, edit, open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. On top, I have the photo that has the flower on the foreground and at the bottom, I have the reverse. I'm gonna select both photos and just go to edit, auto blend layers, Stack images, okay. That's going to just make one photo where everything is sharp and boom, look at that. Now everything is sharp, we've got a mask and it's, it's great. I'm gonna create, I have a big spot here. I made the big mistake of changing lenses with a lot of wind. So I'm just gonna take the stem tool, click Alt and I'm just gonna clean that up really fast. Here is the final result. It's not perfect because you can see here in the middle, I still have some blurry flowers there. I should have taken three photos, focusing on this one, focusing on this one, and focus on this one. But the principle is the same. All you have to do is synchronize, you know, the same retouching on all three photos and put them in the auto blend and everything will be sharp. I just wanted to show you this Photoshop feature, which I think is really cool. You can stack as much photos as you want using this technique. Very easy, but very handy when you want to get a flowers in the foreground. Right now in California, we have flowers blooming everywhere. So this is a technique I'm gonna be doing a lot in the next two weeks. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video called how to turn a boring photo into an awesome image. Click here to see this video. I'm gonna use some cool tricks on how to use this preset that you just downloaded and how to really make your photos to the next level. See you in that video.